guys and girls, Rojo here. Today we're gonna do a makeup routine that I do. I don't do makeup every single day because where I work, it's basically hot as fuck. And I don't want my makeup to run even though I have plenty of makeup to set it and everything. But still, makeup uh, still runs. So when I do wear makeup, this is a makeup I usually go to if I'm going to run errands. Not even errands or just going out to like hang out with friends or stuff like that. I use this type of makeup. Um... But yeah, let's get started at the end. Pause. If you're not subscribed, you have to subscribe to these two things where I put it or down below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell button so you know when I post videos. And if you haven't been on my channel, hey, my name is Royal Jules. I'm from New York City and I'm 22 and I'm 23 this year. And yeah, let's start with this video. So for starters, I already did my eyebrows off camera and I used my ColourPop pencil and my dip brow from Anastasia Beverly Hills and dark brown and I use my NYX give me it's like NYX tinted brow gel and I use my NYX cover control freak like gel to keep it in place with my Sephora you know angle brush <laughs> brush basically so when I don't want to go uh, with a lot of makeup all that makeup in my face I use the NARS Pro Radiant tinted moisturizer it's SPS 3, um, 30 cent sunscreen and it's in Mose Medium 1. I've been loving this just for like days that I don't want to wear makeup and one layer is fine because I have one layer and it's perfectly fine for me. I don't have that much of a damaged skin type I can say or differently but I use this. But for moisturizer I use my Marc Jacobs. It smells like coconut and it hydrates a lot. I don't use my um Part shade on um, Nuvi Man Shea Balm that much, only if I'm wearing like Too Faced foundation, like actual foundation foundation. Then I use my Born This Way concealer mixed with my LA Pro Girl HD concealer. I mix this too, just a little bit on the thing on the you know under eyes because I have dark circles. I'm very very much don't sleep, so you got much to go. And I don't bake. What I do is I pat it around, and that's it. I'm to go. So for right now, we gonna do our eyes so you can see what type of color I, I do and it's simple I don't do it all the way beyond and all that and I got this product that I saw a lot of people had but with the one that I officially saw it in it was so expensive like really expensive then I went to Sephora the other day and I got the color swatch from Sephora this is a Sephora by Rina Mora if I butchered your name I'm very sorry but this is a Sephora color swatched I used it already you know these are for mostly professional makeup artists who basically don't have time to use multiple brushes so instead of dirtying one brush they dirty the brush and then they swipe it here and it cleans out the brush as magically as it is if you want to learn how to do this you can just wait for the end of the video so let's start with the color swatches and stuff and what color palette I use it depends I use nude colors when it comes to you know my natural day-to-day -day makeup routine so today I'll be using the Melt Cosmetics and I will be using the Unseen color from the makeup the melt cosmetics makeup palette if you want to call it a palette it's a metallic palette and all that so i'm using this color just on my crease and let's do it so the brush i grabbed is my anastasia beverly hills the two in one i love this brush it came with the modern renaissance palette so what i do is i dip it in the unseen simple stuff i just blend it on my crease <coughs> and it went in my mouth so i just blend it out on my crease you know Like a little dark brown, see that shade is beautiful. Just put it on there. And just blend it and build it up if I want to. If just I just want one layer, I just stick to the one layer. But what I do is I just use mainly brown colors for a natural look. Just like that. And then I go back here. Just a natural old day to day look. And if you don't like the Milk Cosmetics palette, there's different types of palettes. Any brown shade that I get, if I'm not feeling this one, I get from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Or I get my, um, my Essentials palette. And I am planning to get the palette from Morphe, the 305. 035, either one of those, I don't remember the name. I'm probably gonna get it so I can do a little color thing for you. Then when I wanna switch it and clean my pat, my brush, I just go in with the color swatch pan and I just swoosh right it around. And behold, it's clean, like 
no residue. So I just do that and then clean it, blend it so it won't look too much. And I just leave it like that. And then I get the, from the monetization, I'm gonna say here From the Mo Cosmetics, I use Dark Matter. I can get it. I use Dark Matter and an angle brush. And I do my wing eyeliner. Sometimes it depends. But today I haven't, I haven't been filling wing eyeliners in a bit. I don't know why. But some, if I do, I use eyeshadow to do it. Or the Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner. I love that shit to death. Back to the face. Um, I basically use my MAC. This is the Sun Power Mineralize Finish bronzer i love this bronzer today i forget how much i love this bronzer until i use it and be like damn why did i stop so i use my taper brush right here it's a taper blood um blush brush but i like to use it as like a really bronzer type of thing and i just you know take like i'm doing a contour but not contouring and look how nice finish that is so I just go like that and I put it on the temple and what I do is I leave it like that and get my other brush, my buffing brush from Real Techniques. Don't forget to bronze that face on the bottom. Then I'll just get my Real Techniques brush which I can never find in my collection. Never ever can I find it in my collection. Or I can just use, I don't know where it is. Wow. So I'm just gonna use this brush right here to blend it. And I dropped it. Wow. I'm so clumsy today. I don't know, today I feel so, I'm not sick, I'm, well, I'm still a little bit sick. But, I just feel, okay wait, I can't do it, no. I gotta get my buffing brush. My brush, I, I needed to get the brush. Cause I love my Real Technique brush for a reason. So when I put the, the mineralizing for MAC, I basically just go like that. You know, we need some colors in these cheeks. Buff it out, you know. I buff this out, and I feel like I have to make my nose. So we buff it out. And then I go ahead with my Hula Barometer. I had to, this is a sample, and girl. I never stop trying it. I never, like, I want to hit pan so I can buy it. But my thing is, why is it so much money? For something so, so small, and I love bronzer. They should make a bigger one. Just saying benefit, just make a bigger pan. Like, you see this? I'm pale as shit. And look at my, look, look at this, look at this. Pale. And then I use a little bit on there. To get light contour. On my nose, and on the bottom of my nose, and a little bit on it. Right here. For the contour, not too much on my nose. And that's just the bronzer. I don't do that much bronzer. And after that, I go use my highlight. But the highlight I use is basically the ColourPop from Snow and or I use by itself from Laura Mercier, the Indiscursive Highlighter with a little brush like this. I go ahead with a Fix Plus and just spray a little bit. And what I do, I dust off some of wetness because you want wet, wet. And then with the brush, highlight. Now this highlighter is really intense guys, like really intense. That I just dropped a little bit and look, ooh, girl, look at it, look at, look. And that's just by itself guys, not with the um, Primaria from the eyeshadow palette that I always use. Hint, Anastasia Beverly Hills, get the Primaria as a highlighter because it's gold. It's like amazing as a highlighter. Just saying. So, a little bit on my nose. Oh, you see that? A little bit right here, here, and the temples of my lips, which I like to use with my finger. Oh, see that brightness? You see that brightness? So, yeah. Then I use my mascara and then I just leave and go to do what I do best and just go work and school. That's basically it that I do so far. That's, it was more in detail than literally just telling you and doing it because it takes literally five minutes to do my makeup. So Also what I use is from this side of the brush, I go and grab a little a bit of the 
highlighter and highlight right at the brow bone. You know, because we all have to highlight. I love highlighter. Highlighter is my life. Probably it's the last 17, but you know, highlighter will never die. Just put it in my brow bone to highlight a little bit more. I use the Mel Cosmetics, you know, little brush thing. And for lips. Oh, my combination for the mascara that I forgot to tell you guys is basically the um, Dave Real Mascara. And I love Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. Just in case you know, I'm a very sensitive girl, so. So the next thing I use is for my lips. So my lips, it depends on what type of color you're into. I'd rather do a neutral color, which I use the Burnt Spice from MAC with the lip liner, nice and spicy. And sometimes if I do this natural type of look, I will go with either my Anastasia Beverly Hills fudge color. It smells like actual fudge. So we should try on different lips first. Let's try on the Burnt Spice, which I do use a, I don't remember. Let me use this instead. So I do, and I was about to drop my precious highlighter. So I do over and on my lips sometimes, not all the time. So let's do this. And then what I do is just go over it. And I forgot to use my prime, my own, um, my lip balm serum. So. Cover it. And then we're going to use the Burnt Spice. I did a video with the Burnt Spice lip gloss for a makeup look, like a pinkish look. I loved it. I really loved that look. So I use the Burn Spice Lip It's a little bit, no. It's more moisturizing than other lip gloss I ever did. It's matte, but it's not uncomfortable. Oh. Do you guys hate when you have to fix your lip gloss and all of a sudden you just took like half of your motherfucking makeup off? shaking I've been sick so I'm getting better and saying this so this is with this color take it off and I'm gonna I overline my lips again with the nice and spicy now we're gonna use flesh from Anastasia Beverly Hills like this is a it smells like chocolate like I got not if you If you want a nice, dark, glossy lip, fudge is the one for you. Mm -hmm. I love this lip. If you want, sometimes it can get messy. So what you can do is just grab that nice and spicy lip liner and just outline it. Mm -hmm. And there we go. I kind of like this combination and a little bit better. And my lips are glossy, so yeah. So guys, this is it. This is the look that I do mostly when I go out. If 
simple, nothing drastic. So guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like this look, or if you like this lip color, or the other lip color, give it a thumbs up. Comment below which one you like, the Anastasia Beverly Hills or the MAC. Just comment that down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button wherever I put it, or down below. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you can be notified when I post videos every Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, or Fridays at 5 to 7 p.m. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is just a simple makeup routine look. But yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. 